Do you want to know how to make stamped necklaces with zodiac signs and constellations without any soldering? It's such a cute design, perfect for your Etsy shop, and it's super simple. So keep watching to see exactly how to make these necklaces. Hello my beautiful people, my name is Basha and today I have another tutorial for you. We are making disc necklaces in gold filled metal, sterling silver and brass. Here are the tools you will need for this project. I will show them to you separately as we go along. Let's start with the first step and that's cutting the discs. For this step you can use a jeweler's saw with blades, for example 5 odd. For easier cutting you will need to lubricate the blade with paste or a beeswax. I will be using a disc cutter, this one is by Pepe Tools. I'll go for a medium size. Cutting with a disc cutter is very easy. Make sure you're using a brass mallet or a hammer like this one by Freds with a brass attachment. But why brass and why you shouldn't use steel on steel? Here is a quick explanation I found on the Vector Solutions website. There is a hidden danger in striking two hardened metal surfaces together. This action can lead to sharp pieces of metal breaking out of the hammer or the struck piece of metal at very high velocity. So it's much better to use a brass hammer for striking hardened steel. Perfect. Now we have three discs ready for stamping. I will use these stickers as a guide for stamping. I will start with a gold filled disc and a constellation. I will use these stamps for the constellation, bigger and smaller dot and a star. The guide makes it easier to stamp in the right places, but it's not necessary. You can find the constellation pattern online and use that as a guide for stamping. I'm using a rawhide mallet to flatten the disc after stamping. And this one's ready. I'm going to stamp a Leo constellation on the brass oval disc. But what if you don't have the stamps? Not to worry, you can easily use other tools like a center punch, an old burr and an old scriber. Let me show you how to do this. So how do you like the effect? It's very simple, isn't it? And I think it looks as nice. I will stamp my zodiac sign on the silver disc. To find the center, you can use a ruler or you can use a handy tool like this one, a center finder. The marking will help me find the center and stamp my zodiac sign. You can also use special guides like this one for example. Here I have stamps with zodiac signs. Now it's time to make holes in these discs to attach jump rings as bales. For that I'm going to use hole punching pliers. You could also use a drill, but my discs are thin enough so the pliers will be faster and easier.
all done. Now it's time to clean and polish the discs. I am starting with the gold filled one. It's important to limit sanding on this one to minimum to preserve the gold layer and not expose the base metals. That's why I am only polishing it with a compound for a high shine. I made sure to avoid any scratches and markings on the metal so I don't have to remove them. Just polishing. Silver disc requires some light sanding so I'm using a blue bristle wheel attachment which is medium and then also polishing it with a compound. You can also use bathing sticks for this job if you don't have a rotary tool. And here they are! They are pretty much finished, but I will add some patina to a couple of them to bring out the details. I am removing the excess with a polishing pad. Here's the difference between two discs. One is darkened with patina and the other isn't. Last step is to attach jump rings and chains. To do so, use two flat nose pliers. And done! These are so pretty and delicate. A perfect product for your Etsy or online jewelry store and no soldering was required to make them. You can customize them in any way you like and experiment with shapes. They are so easy to make that my niece was able to make one of her own on her first try. And I mean her very first try making jewelry ever. <laughs> she visited me in my workshop and we had our very first jewelry making lesson. I am very proud of her. Thank you so much Pepe Tools for partnering with me on this video. You can find the links to the tools in the description under the video. You can be sure that they are of excellent quality. I've been using them for years now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!